pretty crazy. Pretty up and down. You think you got it under control and then, then it just blows up and goes another direction. So kind of circles around, comes back and bites you. It was pretty intense. Richard and Connie's was pretty bad. They saved the house though, so. Cattle rancher Mary Blackstock survived the 72 hours of hell wildfire delivered to her and her neighbors as over 250,000 acres of high desert grazing lands in the Owyhee Mountains on the Idaho-Oregon border went up in smoke. The flames, flames just blew over this thing. Blew, it was blowing over the cars. And that's when it caught the shed on fire too. Loader was right yeah, there the and uh, this thing just exploded and we had to run, run for the black and he, he did too. And one guy had to hit the ground on the driveway until the flames blew over him. Mary and husband Ted run cattle on the Owyhee front. After spending the night helping neighbors, the next morning brought a spot fire near their barn and the rush to start moving cattle. We need to uh, get a place to put and bring cows home and, and get up feeding them hay. And uh, we got to try, now that the fire is hopefully out, we're going to try and get around and see where all the cows are ending up. They're all coming down it, creeks every direction right now and, and everybody's just picking up what cattle comes their way. And then after we get those kind of gathered up and put somewhere, then we'll have to go up and ride the areas that we haven't got to yet and see if any cattle that are still isolated up there need pushed out. Mary says the range is devastated. Everything, deer were running, uh, elk, quail, quail were all just looking, running up on the porch trying to find their babies and, and not, not much out there now. The Blackstock Ranch has yet to determine the total losses, but future pasture and feed for surviving cattle is foremost on their minds. We've got a pretty good bunch of hay right now, but uh, it's going to take more if we don't find some pasture, because it took all our the rest of our summer pasture and our fall pasture and all our winter pasture too. So it's going to be feeding hay 100% from now, now till spring. If, but right now, unless we find some place to go. The soda fire, as it's named, has impacted many ranching operations. In Owyhee County of Idaho, the cattle outnumber the people, and the ranchers are as resilient as they come. Just doing your job, doing working your cattle. Trying to take care of them is just what we do, I guess. Over 800 firefighters are still working hard to contain the wildfire that has now burned close to 300,000 acres. With the Idaho Farm Bureau, the voice of Idaho agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.